Welcome to WP Tonic, episode 19. If you're listening to this on your iPhone, tap the artwork, and you can watch the unabridged version of the production of this podcast by Jonathan and me. Well, Jonathan, welcome to the After Christmas podcast for WP Tonic, the short one. We're going to continue on with Gravity Forms. It'll be the, the second no, story. Excuse me, could, disregard I think, what I, I said. I think you've had too much to drink. Hey, I had too much. See, oh, you haven't. Even, see, we're doing this before Christmas, so we might redo this. But you may listen to this anywhere after Christmas. It depends how we feel. So we're going to talk to the uh, the second show is based on online form builders. That's what the notes yeah, say. Well, basically, I'm going to look at the um, more simpler solutions for WordPress, and then look at some um, hosted. Um, kind of web-based form builders, right? Right, right. Are you with us, Bill? I, that, yeah, I got the, you that, know, I understood well Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, and Visual Forms. That's what we talked about last week, and those are the really premium. But now you can, you're going to have to educate me. Yeah. So I do use Jetpack right now, and you know, okay, just drive on. Yeah, I'm looking at, I'm going to give some advice on people that don't want to pay up $199 or when they look at, the other two that we discussed last week, they just think, oh, you know, I just want a couple simple forms. I I don't need all this. Because they are quite large plugins, Bill, and they offer a lot of functionality, but they're complicated. So um, I think the mo- one of the most popular is Contact 7. Um, that's been around for a long time, and it it makes a simple contact form. And it, it's built out a bit more now, and it offers a bit more functionality. But its main aim is to build contact forms. And if that's all you're looking for, um, I've never, um, I haven't used it for a long while. So um, I can't really remark about its updating. But it's, um, if you go to the, um, the plugin deposity, it's been downloaded hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of times and it's used on loads of websites and then um another one that hey, provides... quick, quick note they, I, they, I thought they had a really cheesy looking website but i really like it actually it's very it's very instructional well i think it appeals to your cheesy taste bill. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it bill <laughs> it's so nice mean to... So, so you know, let's face it, Bill, you're not a connoisseur of design, are so you? So mean. Yeah, no, I, I'll tell you what, though. I do have a deep, this is a side note, a deep appreciation for not just designers, but graphic designers to get the right graphics. So you can have wonderful mechanics behind a website, but you have to have the graphics, too. Oh, That's for another, another show, isn't it? We'll have to yeah. bring somebody who does graphics on. Uh, well, I, I, I have got a degree in graphic design, Bill. You do? I'm, I'm not even going to respond to that, Bill. Uh, oh, but, see, oh, that, we're doing this that, before Christmas, that, and we, we're going to have to read. That kind of remark deserves the kind of response that it got, Bill. Okay, drive um, on. Let's go on. We got sidetracked. Uh, yes. Um, let's go on to Jetpack. I love Jetpack, don't I? Um, I, <laughs> I, I don't use it, but it provides you have used it. Yeah, what, there's so what, much in what, Jetpack. What has been your experience of the uh, Jetpack and have you used the contact form? Actually, I do use it for one of my beta tests and one of my nonprofits, and it works really fine on the contact. It's, it's basic. It works. It, it drops the uh, – we basically build Excel spreadsheets for uh, membership as well as people coming to monthly meetings. So oh. Jonathan is like playing with his mic. You heard that. Yeah, sorry. I should leave um, that in. I'd probably leave that in. Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's okay, but you wouldn't give it, you don't think it's fantastic. But no, no, I, I, the more I look at some of the other hybrid systems. But, you know, I have heard a lot about, and I see a lot about uh, Contact Form 7. Yeah. And and then, you don't use it, do you? No, I don't. Because? I've got, got, I've got a license with Gravity. Why would I? Right. Um, um, and then we've got Zoom on Me, which is this all-embracing. We've got it on the WP Tonic website. We utilize their social icon functionality. But this is a kind of hybrid. It, you know, it, um, they offer a lot of functionality free in this plugin. They do offer some micro um, plugins 
that are very cheap. Um, but it's quite an amazing plugging because it um, normally the, the Swiss Army knife type plugins, right. a bit like Jetpack, are, are not really good at anything. But um, Zoom on Me is the um, is a pretty handy plugin, and they do have a couple of form builders. How do they make uh, money? Um, I think they. Um, there's a couple of ways that there are these micro plugins. They also um, try and they get you on their mailing list and they've got a range of other products. And also, I think, I'm not totally sure about this, i just got a feeling that some of their products, they're taking data off the website. Right. Right? So um, that's three kind of products that if you're just looking for contact us form that, Jonathan, they, i gotta ask you a question sumo yes. on me has the social media plugin that is on wp tonic yes. i looked it up i was playing with it how did you decide to use their plugin for the social media because i know it didn't have a lot of reviews so it has overly proven but it looks nice well it's free the the kind of graphic and the functionality and um i just and also the team behind it okay. i i um I've used it on client sites, and I've um, it's been a pretty, and it's one of these plugins that um, all these type of plugins, these social media icons, use a lot of JavaScript, right. and um, which can interfere with something like Gravity Forms. I was just about to say, what scares me is Sue on me, Sue on me, that isn't hasn't been around that long. That, that plugin has it. It's been around for over a year, and I think it's been yeah. down, downloaded 700,000 times, Bill. Oh, I didn't see the 700,000. I think if you go to the um, WordPress depository, yeah. you see it's been a heavily downloaded okay. plugin. Right. Um, then we then we go on to uh, another interesting area, and um, we've got a number of online form providers, and I'm going to quickly go through them. Um, because we've got about seven minutes, seven, eight minutes. Um, Five. The, the... <laughs> Just let me get on with it, Bill, please. <laughs> if, I, if you let me get on with it, we'll get this finished. Um, we've got Google, we've got Google Docs. Um, they actually uh, provide a basic form builder. Did yeah. you know that, Bill? I actually have seen people use that. It's kind of goofy, like you sign up for things. Yeah, it's not that great. It, like all Google products, though, it will probably improve if they just don't drop it. Right. Um, then you got Wufu. Uh, Wufu is very well known. I, I when I was getting into web design development, I utilised it myself. Um, it's really good, but it's uh, it's a bit expensive. That's the problem with it, and. The, um, a lot of the functionality you, that you need, you have to go into the medium higher, um, which is like forty to seventy dollars a month. Um, there's another one that um, called Formstack, and that's a bit cheaper than Woo Woofu, and it's very very popular. Um, and I haven't used it, but I was looking at the website. And it looked very, the functionality they were offering was quite, and they offer both Wufu and Formstack, offer conditional logic. And, and then they've got another one that's a bit cheaper called um, Joel, Joel Form. Um, the, the website's a little bit cheesy looking, but when you actually look at the functionality and it's a bit cheaper than Formstack and Wufu, and all these provide kind of wiki whiz where you can just, but I say that, so does um, Gravity and um, some of the more uh, more powerful form builders. But um, these online form builders do have their place. So um, I don't know if you've used any of that. No, I haven't. No, you know, I, I just haven't. I'm just... Pushing hard. Well, wasn't you looking at Wufu? I was it? looking at Wufu, yeah. yeah. And what made you decide not to keep looking at it, Bill? Uh, I looked too... Uh, you know, I did look at it. It just... Uh, I don't know, they're nice-looking forms, but uh, maybe it's the tutorial wasn't 
where it needed to be. They've got a beautiful website, though, that's for sure. Yeah, they've been around. I, I forgot to mention, it was, I, I, I've added this, and it wasn't on your form notes, actually. Um, there's another one that was um, recommended to me, another online. It's called Form Assembly. I haven't heard of uh, that one. So that's not on our notes. That's, we'll have to no, that one. was another one which I quickly looked at. And um, it's, I would say Form Assembly and Form Stack looked the most powerful for the price. Right. Um, um, I actually noticed that the University of Reno actually utilizes Form Stack. Interesting. It's on their website, actually. Wow. I wonder who contracts their website. Do you know? They've got an internal team. Internally? Do that internally? Okay. They've got an internal development team. Well, it's, you know, I think they've got about 16,000 students and God right. knows how many departments. So you've got, I think we've got another minute, two minutes. Yep. Bill. Have you got any questions about No, uh, and these are really good lists. I did want to mention, I didn't mention the last show, that if you go to the website, you can get all these links. Plus, if you're listening on iTunes or on your, of course, your, your iPhone, if you tap the artwork, you'll come up, the link will be right behind it, and you can watch us live and see our faces and see my new equipment, see Jonathan looking down at you because he doesn't have his books underneath his laptop. I just, I actually, I just like it that way so I can look down on you. you know, I was thinking about trying to give you something for Christmas, maybe a camera or something. You know, well, get, kicking the ass. No, a 920, see, one of the little cameras, you know, off the side. Kicking oh, the ass. No, you do that. To, we do it to each other every day, every week. Well, I, can, I, I can be a really... Your short. motivational kick in the I ass. I use a square word, but that would get us in trouble with so, iTunes. So it? this is going to be Sunday after Christmas. It means it's not... New New Year's is next. You've just broken the suspense for our viewers, Bill. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing two here before Christmas. Oh, that's, there's nothing like, yeah, well, go on then, Bill. Make, yeah, right then. Anyway, the, the idea is you got the good information. By the way, my hat is off to you. You really did a good job putting this whole list together. That takes some time to go through that many forms, that many sites. Where do you find the time to do all this? Well, actually, I've utilized most of this, and it, it wasn't that hard, actually. It's when I'm um, – what I like to just quickly tell my viewers – we're, um, I'm probably um, in the new year going to do a, a detailed post and also we're going to do a detailed um, podcast and then I'm going to do a screencast and it, it's going to be about a particular, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, I'm going to leave it in suspense. Um, I'm going to look at um, a plugin that I've been utilising on a couple of sites myself um, that's a WordPress uh, competitor to lead pages. And um, I've been highly impressed on it. And I've just been um, the actual owner of the company that produces this plugin that I'm not going to say, I'm going to, um, is um, agreed to come on our show. Bill. Oh, my. Oh, my. You know, that's in the new year. That's so good. We, we can get a good deal from my site. So um, we're we're going to have a bit of a feast out on that, but I think right. it's a really interesting plugin, um, and it's an interesting uh, owner of the company. Um, he he's a real hardcore online marketer that built his company from online marketing yeah. and has really now gone into WordPress plugin development. Jonathan, I think we're going to have to do a special for the New Year's. We'll be back Sunday. We'll put this up Sunday, and we'll do a special for New Year's Day. And we'll talk about what we're going to do in 2015. We're going to get rich, yeah. right? Right? Um, well, the empire grows, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It'll be a good year. Yeah, right. All right. Well, folks, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Christmas, New Year, and yeah. keep away from the cops. And... Yeah, and be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. For show notes, go to wp-tonic.com.